I love to say, I always have. It's no accident Bill Jackson's studio is set up to overlook the ocean, the very essence of his inspiration. The fishermen, the, the wildness of the ocean, the uncontrolled uh, adventure. It's an adventure Bill first realized working as a sternman aboard a fishing boat, which eventually led to a job in fish sales. Though life, he says, was comfortable, it was not complete. I felt that uh, there were things that I was missing out on by always handling, processing fish. So uh, I wanted to be more creative. Admittedly, Bill never dreamed he possessed this sort of creativity, not to mention the talent. But today, he carves out an array of fine sculptures, including his signature whales. Only these he likens to more of a craft type piece, which helps fill the gaps between his bigger jobs. It's an artistic, but it, it's, uh, it's low cost and uh, easily attainable. So, so it's a bread and butter item. Still, they're hardly just some cookie cutter afterthought. Bill spends hours cutting and fitting each piece of reclaimed wood to create, hopefully, the gnarliest looking whale you'll ever want to hang inside your house. Yeah, the, the world is too perfect. Everybody wants everything sterilized. And when they see something gnarly or scrubby, it, they can see that it's just so different than what they're used to. They love it. It's perfect for what I like to do. Bill searches long and hard for that reclaimed wood he'll eventually use. His backyard is piled high with aging dock planks and tree stumps. They're not much now, but that's the idea. Well, to me, it, it, I'd get a, a big sensation out of making something out of nothing, actually. Something that most likely will speak of the sea. An idea born right outside. Bill Jackson's back window. But, but when I sit down and think of something to create, it generally comes out ocean related. <laughs> so I hope it continues. Mm -hmm.